be talking about another stompy 2-0. This is the quarterfinals. OG got here for a reason, but so did the Ninjas. Let's get into it with a first pistol out of the gate. Alexi's T side. Comes straight towards A here. Smoke's in the air. They're already up the ramp. Lots to find on A. Flames is out. Lots to find. NIP head and shoulders above them in the pods, and you can see why. Alexi B and Nico need a couple more of those, and it's not enough for the P250. We didn't even get to wow. finish our sentence before Rez finishes the round. Yeah, Rez is really on one, right? He's really, really on one. I was talking about it before. His stats uh, up until the Furia game, and the Furia game, they lost to Furia on this very map. After that, it's been a different look in Rez. Now, that Mouseport series, he didn't have the greatest stats, but in the Gambit series, a big game, great stats. Seeing him here today looking fantastic as well. We just had 40-plus kills on that last map of play. Yeah, he's definitely been padding his numbers in the series, looking very good and looking very quick as well. Damn, three headshots on that pistol. Look what he's brought out. Straight M4, full armor. He's not messing around here. He wants to send this full Glock Eco. I say full. Damn you, Valde. Close enough. Yeah, Linus, uh, he got activated as well, right? You think about that round where they retook the site on overpass, yeah. in case you guys missed it. He got two kills with the org when he was in the two-on-two, -two, a must-win retake. Since that point, he was on seven kills. I think he finished on 14. So he doubled his kills with those last few rounds of regulation and OT. So Linus had a lot more impact in the tail stages of overpass, but here we go again. This is oh. going to be... We need a name for this. This... Um, I, maybe they're being, I was going to say, like, environmentally conscious. Mm. You know, because they're they're going out there and well, okay. Here's a great not not um, an answer for the what the term, mm. but you know how Yanko just used devices Deagle 4K as an example of how the economy got screwed. Yes, this is a smaller version of a device 4K pistol. It's the other way around. You're not killing them. It's going to be hard to kill them, but it's not hard for them to just waste time and waste util. Yeah, and they've done exactly that here. It's just Plopsky with a smoke and a flash. I guess it's just being. Um Economically mindful. Economically mindful. Love that. Let's build upon that. But we I should agree. all be economically mindful at home. Yeah. I know that. You know. <gasps> oh, you know, Hamper's missing that spray. We'll give them some room. That clock has taken him down, and that should be the end of it. Thank you, Rez. Flames has found another with the recovered M4, and I'm getting nervous. He's hit some more. Valdus D, good for it. The bomb retrieval will not be easy, and Linus has arrived as well to finish the job. It's not oh, ideal. Flames spray. has got him one on one. Flames can. Two and bullets. Good. Finish oh, the one job. Bullet. Oh, that's it. <laughs> the last bullet out of the USP saves the boys of the ninjas. Oh, Linus isn't used to getting kills, so he just gets all the damage done, so Plopsky can give him some assists in the feed right there. Popsky was at, out of ammo. Out of ammo with the last shots. Yeah, he had nothing left. Truly nothing. This is how Alexi beats an M4 with his clock. It did look good, but it really look falls apart. One. Four. Three. Two. Uh, one. Oh. Last bullet. And so Flames cancelled his reload off for the <laughs> Deeg as well. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, we'll just forget about that one, I think Threat says. You got it. A win's a win. Uh, their buy's looking much better on the OG side now. Everybody with AKs. NIP are limping after that one here. They're lucky to get that second round, all things considered. Yeah, and now look at the buy, dude. OG should be highly favoured. Well, softened up there. Not some badly placed nades at all there onto Alexi B. Down to 48 points of health. And these constant smokes in connector making life very jarring. Rez, I think he's going through this, you know. You madman, Flash is coming in. No need, I guess. He does it dry, trying to catch him on a timing, I suppose. But look what it's led to. OG, the man advantage, crawling up short into Hampus' position. He'd do very well to get more than one, but he gets none. Yeah, NIP picked apart here, and now just looking to pick at what remains, pick at the bones. Plopsky's MP9 should not have much more to say about this one. Even bother to him out. Perfect stuff right there. Really crossing the T's, dotting the I's. It is just Linus, MP9 in hand. I'm sure he'd love to upgrade this into something other than the SMG that can. Now, damage on the other direction now, right? You saw Yanko talking about the device moment. Let's see if Linus here can keep OG's economy a little bit humble. Now, the T side, the bomb plant, things being a little bit cheaper. They're not going to feel the woes in the same way, but NIP surely are. So the ramifications of that Glock round immediately felt here. They're not going to have any money to spread in the next of play. Ooh, maybe there is a chance for an AK after all. It won't be easy. Mantu should trade off should Valde require. He does not. And so you get the perfect round. There you go. Doesn't get better than a T side first buy than that. Even five AKs still alive. 
eliminating all five of your opposition. So all sent back to the Stone Age, maybe the Bronze Age, actually. They got some pointy deagles, a yeah. couple of spiked sticks. This can be interesting if Alexi's not ready for Hampus' scout, right? If Alexi calls something a little bit more loosey-goosey, right? they just spread around the map here, then at that point, Hampus can find some tags. If they do something with their utility, get some smokes in window, like you can see right here, that scout has a lot less traction. Rez already on notice. Damage done, however. Flames. First copper scout bullet. Hampus lucky to get that one. Won't be knowing exactly how much damage has been done here. But yep. big control taken very, very early from OG, and it is a B-side lean from the ninjas in pajamas. Alexi B and Flames are crawling up that catwalk, so if they do opt for the B-split, we'll be susceptible to this. Vent room cleared. I mean, Nico is lurking Palace. You'd think he'd have a look. He's actually been called back now, right? So, or actually, maybe he's been sent forward. Nico's having a look at A ramp. So while this is going on... Well, that's going to channel him into B, you'd think. Manti's walking out. Alexi's lost his head. Plopsky's jumping for info. And he, ooh, he's been spotted out now. This is very losable. Oh, very losable. I think Nico would have to try and, like, kill Rez and then just immediately rotate that bomb through mid. Oh, Flames doesn't want to move from Vent Room here either. So Nico needs to get all the info. They need to be able to safely rotate back from B. There's enough time to do so. Still 45 seconds left on the clock. Rez could ruin all of this for OG. Yeah, he's already found one to ruin the day. Oh, and he spots out Nico. That's the death. They're coming back. Here they come. To be a race up connector here. Yeah, and Flames might be actually activated from that ladder room as well. He hears them. Will catch device on the rotate back. Bomb to be planted. They will have time. <laughs> and, and that's, that's it. it. What a way for a Counter-Strike round to play out. Wow. Oh, that's a, a huge exchange there. Nico on to Rez. Saves this one for OG. They were walking into the stack. And now, unfortunately for Linus, Hampus, and Plopsky, they just have to sit idly by here and try and save to have a double dip with these into the next round of play. It didn't start great, but it definitely ended fantastic here for OG. Going to get their second round on the board. Could even keep all four of these players alive. So, yeah, pretty good, all things considered. Yeah, and their gun rounds so far, these back-to-back -back rounds, they've lost one frag. I mean, not it's bad. it's going to be nurturing the OGT side economy for shizzle. It's uh, going to be interesting to see, right? Because as I mentioned, NIP did lose this map just the other day, right? It was uh, a 16-9 to loss to Furia. But their result before that was a 16-2 to win over Team Liquid by IEM Cologne. So a lot's happened in that player break, right? A lot of things have changed and different levels of practice teams coming out, maybe a little bit rustier than others. So that result, the one before that, the IEM Cologne Plains was a 16-8 over Mao Sports. But before all that was a bunch of losses, a loss to, to Maus and MIBR. That's at Gamers Without Borders. I don't count those results. So really, if you look at their results right now, it's a pretty 50-50 mixed bag. Just on the other side of the player break, losing to a coach, not great. So. There's a real opportunity here for NIP to get this done in two. And uh, we have the vent not being broken in middle. That'll come in later if we see some window boosts. This time, stacking A. So NIP, quite the variety in their strap book. Stack B, stack A, maybe stack mid. Mm. It's good and to see. And Alexi can do the call of going A, but then going B. Uh, as we just saw, actually. Yeah, that, that yeah. was the classic. He's well versed in that old Alexi. But this one here should be looking fantastic for OG's third round. They're very good at finding the info, right? As we just saw, we just witnessed. Oh, Molly with a couple of flames trickling on over. Don't want to give up anything under that shadow position. And yeah, this slow crawl, a bit reminiscent of overpass. You know, we saw a lot of these rounds where it was stalled out. A few more bullets through smokes on overpass, though, I might add. Yeah. believe he's managed to pull How? that off. That momentary gap for That's information, huge. and he's taken down a fully equipped AK that on Mantu. That is insane. He might be able to do more here. Oh, and he has. Takes a chunk out of flames. Hampus has really set this supposed to be a non-factor round. Alex. The bombs still are not planted. They haven't found Plopsky, and now Linus is causing chaos as well. The denial. Oh, it's fallen apart. Plopsky with two huge frags, and OG have got nothing left. Flames the last of four. Plopsky with a high-impact CZ3K. And look what they're leaving with. My god, they came in with USPs. They leave with AKs and AWPs. That's going to leave a very distinct mark. Let's see this again. Hampers, the smoke, 
just this fades. Is mental, he man. pops the head off as it pops again. And then Flopsky buying his time. He played that corner, but he didn't give him a, a single bullet, a single step. They didn't know he was there until the denial came in. You see in threat in the background having a bit of a grin on his face, like for huge reasons. That is, is, is mental. We do have a bit of a, a tech issue called here, guys. So we should be getting the round restarted. No damage done. So give us a moment. That right there was uh, quite crazy. We're going to have to reflect on that. And I think we will get the opportunity to do so. We need to play around. I uh. What? All right, well, we'll see what happens here. Yeah, I'll keep track of that. It's just odd considering I, I thought the no health uh, rule was still in place. I'll All keep right, track of that. We're underway, we're underway. Game on. Players agree. 75 seconds for them to work their magic. You know, when we watched OG's Mirage last time, Manta was such a good factor of just catching those B players off guard. That was against fours, I believe. Oh, it is definitely a B fake right here. They come. Oh, just as they start to rotate off. And the trades are good. Device keeps it level for the ninjas just as he arrives on CT. Not going to be easy to plant. They don't have a smoke, Chad. This is going to be a really Hail Mary plan from Valder. He is just crossing his fingers, his toes, his hairs. Oh, and he gets away. Singed. Just about, yeah. Burnt down to 20. Just as it spread, he's in the open. But that doesn't stop the headshot from being delivered. Hampus crawls up the connector. Device. Suppressed, Alexi impressed, and Device shouldn't have anything more to say about this one. Wow, what a response here. Back again we go. 3-3, three, three, we're all tied up. I'm sure there might be a bit of a tech issue called here, guys, just to have a, a conversation or two. Or if not, we'll just keep the action yeah, going. Yeah, an odd yep. one there, but I mean, that is the worst case scenario for Linus, right? You've been holding Palace this whole time, and just as the action starts to unfold, just as you're call called upon to address something else, you fall out of your position, you look away, avert your gaze, and out come OG, a warp to fall with bullets. It was a nice fake as well that they, with those smokes, right? I think Alexi had thrown something actually from T-Spawn to help contribute to that B-side fake, so... Wow. Nice little move there. Do you reckon Mantu's even gonna consider this? Nope, it's the answer. He's looking elsewhere, and Device is given a lovely leg up into the round. Quick reactions out of Nico to at least do the housekeeping, stop the AWP from being easily retrieved. Well, they're having a look over towards B right now, so he's going to get a duel with Hampers here, who you can see just over towards the van position. We'll be using just the cusp as soon as Valder's head tips over the top. Go for a pot shot. And actually, Molly, not deep enough here. So balcony will have been cleared. Hampers gets to stay in the van position. It's actually drawn Device over as well. So Plopsky, Hampers, and Device are currently over towards that B bomb site. Yeah, I like the way OG have played that. That's all it took. It pulled Device temporarily, but with nothing to follow up on, he's returned to... Scout out the mid area. You till from Alexi, destined for jungle side. And here they go. Linus and Rez. They hear them. They spot them. And they're not worried about that angle. Not sure. Nico gets completely booked. And Valve's looking the wrong way as well. Not anymore. A uh, warning shot from Device, but Bomb will not be planted. That's denied, and this one falls apart. It's just taking it in turns, I think. These perfect spotless rounds, one after the other. Yeah, so out the gates, right? We had two rounds from NIP. Then we had uh, OG coming in with their first gun round. They've managed to get two consecutive. And since then, it's been back and forth. NIP with one, OG respond. NIP rally that one back over the net. And now we have OG in a bit of an odd situation as far as the finances go here. We can check this one out again. This is how it opened on, opened on up. And device with a lot of impact in this round, that org being a real menace. OG will reinvest here. Got themselves two AKs, two Galils, a P250. The bigger issue is the light on Util. And Oh, this is looking like it is just going to be an A explode here. They have two smokes. Volder coming through the underpass again. Needs to be careful. Has a player just above him of Hampus. Over towards that vent room. Oh, Valder is not being held currently. They'll have a look. Oh, he just catches Rez completely back turned. He might go down. And he does. Flames fell as well. Nico into the site. Need another. His device is playing around the smokes, but... Kept even. Hampus wants to push Sandwich. They won't, may not be ready for this if he was to drop down. Waits for the fade, catches Mantu on it. And now poor Alexi wishing he had a weapon in his hands. And he's peeking into two rifles with only a P250. Just 
no real hope for him. Plopsky confirms our suspicions, and NIP will pull away. They buck the trend. We've been trying to sell in-game leadership wrong for all these years, right? We've been trying to sell it. You got to micromanage all these players. You got to hang back a little bit. You got to call the shots. You got to do these mid rounds. Just do what these new in-game leaders like Hampus, Daphne, Alexi from time to time, what Carrigan likes to do. I know he's not a new in-game leader, but lead from the front, boys. Yeah. Put yourself in the position where you get to go in the smoke fade. And if anyone calls you out, you go, well, I was making, oh, it was an info play. You know, you just get, they just go for all these crazy plays. Think about all the times you've seen Hampus now pushing smokes, yeah. in smokes. Well, Fast flank on Ancient as well. He was desperate, gagging to be behind people. Yeah, so if you want to be first in, getting all the action and making your teammates flash you, become an in-game leader today. <laughs> Okay, you know what? That campaign could work. Yeah, I think we just need to frame it a different way. A distinct way. lack of in-game leaders. That's also because I think new players to Counter-Strike have the anxiety of just being perceived, never mind making calls for other people. This got out of hand before. It did, and it might again. They actually landed a ding. Someone finishes the job. Out of hand. Has. It is. They can plant. Rez is flanking fast. And Nico with a recovered AK-47 could have more to say about this. Nade to get across. They're set up for something. Two rifles in play, no armor, don't forget. And it's Rez that could, will be that first contact. He hasn't finished his meal. Oh. And more from Valder's pistol. Now all falls onto Mantu. He knows where they're both coming from. Jiggles are just too good. Rez is bailed at the ninjas out on multiple occasions. This is one of them. And he's sailing through the top of the scoreboard. Double digits are found. And there's only two players with 10. Rez and Plopsky. Okay, well, that was a, another salvage round. This B bomb site seems like it has a bit of a leak time and time again, doesn't it? We've had a few rounds where OG have been able to waterfall out with nothing other than just Glocks. You know, maybe a, the slight upgrade of a P250 or Deagle here and there. But this is great from Volder. Has to respond because that pressure from Rez is coming in through the apartments there. Does his very, very best. Man to not enough bullets in the gun to get it done. And the scoreline now will sittle. sittle? will settle at 6-3. to three. I went a little bit New Zealand there for New a second. New Zealand. Mantu's into the AWP again. Let's see if that can be a difference maker right now for OG. This is their default. Two top mid, two working on the underpass. And it's a bit more of an aggressive stance from NIP here. Linus and Device committed. Rez really with a lot on his plate holding middle. He is on his lonesome here. Yeah, he's used his smoke already, so he won't be able to stick around unless Plopsky provides one for him. Yeah, Popsy could hook him up here. For now, though, a more passive stance, and you can see if they do resmoke window, he'll be able to play the light. Not gonna show their hand too soon, though. The opportunity for smoke gimmicks through connector has been huge, right? There's been a real possibility for somebody from OG to come on through. So that needs to be a question mark in the back of NIP's mind. And look at this aggressive a hold It hasn't moved. Device and Linus have not moved a bloody muscle. They have just been locking this down. They have so much early info. Linus has to protect Device if they come out of Palace here. And it looks like they're going to be forcing the issue through connector. Rez has a lot to do here still. Oh, that's a nice molly. That might even force them forward, but they aren't going to flinch. And here comes Alexi. It's Rez with two, when most would find only the one. And now the setup should favor the boys from the CT side even more so. Now Hampus strikes that double orb, completely rules out the cross from the connector. Oh, Valder. Oh, Valder. Not expecting Plotsky, I suppose. And now multiple targets, every angle for Nico. And he's only got 14 seconds. Good setup and even better from NIP. Ooh, starting to run away from OG now. This is their map choice. Scoreline 7 to 3, quite the sizable margin here. And this was great from Rez. The fact that he didn't hear any ticks with the molly, right? Keeps him on high alert that they're possibly already in that smoke, right? Well aware of what maneuvers OG are going for. And I just can't believe how long NIP stayed in that setup with Device and Linus. They, they were just happy to stick to their guns right there. So huge stuff and back down to these pistols. Again for OG, they just have the Galil to boast on Volder. Max loss bonus in play here and they need something. They need a hero. Because Mantu, he was great during the group stage. He's absent now, one and seven. Yeah, where are you at, big man Ting? These orbs are about to have a fun day in the office. Anyone else on the repeat? Campus is ready and collects. Valder on the next. Okay, it's just going to be three. 
An NIP, yeah, you said running away with it. But I mean, to be honest, their CT side hasn't looked like it's broken much of a sweat. No, and they're retaining these double ops as well, right? So it's trying to return to that number one spot in the world. I just think it's going to be really interesting to see how Lucy Goosey French T sides interact with hyper rotating Gambit CT sides. Could be an interesting game. Good util set to force one of the two back. I don't know if Alexi heard it, but Rez is close by. And that's the fight. That's the change. That's the difference maker from Alexi. Oh, and more to provide it. Oh, oh huge. God, it's perfect. Flames takes the entire B site down, and they're even going to tap away at more. Nico will finish it off. Okay, well, that one's a bit of a write off. Everyone just won their duel. That's huge. That is insane right there. And you got to give it to Alexi B because as soon as the first piece of the puzzle crumbles, the rest of them are all trying to scramble back for Reza's territory here. So, Flames, the fact he gets two, insane. And then they're just walking out to C2s who have no idea. Okay, well, we've just lost our entire team. Are they going A? Are they going B? They got no idea. And some good shots. So, OG putting up a fight. Yeah, I mean, consider that one a necessary fourth. Important round right here coming up. If OG are able to win this, they break the bank of NIP and they could bring this scoreline back to something more respectable here. Early damage done through the smoke. Mansu put on notice down to 32 points of health, but that's not going to make him shy away. He needs to protect his friend of flames, top middle. As Rez, he's got a new position this time around. He's playing from short hampers to contribute from connector. No double orb setup available this time round. They're playing a retake A, so this is a real change-up. Device over towards short with Rez. Hampers patrolling window. That's the three-prong attack here to lock down middle. Rez is set for this frag onto Valder. It's a question of when he's given it. Oh, oh, lovely catch. Flames has tagged him up, I think, just into the elbow. Enough of a pixel spotted. Util denies Hampus really having a voice into the cross. They're just walking now in. They're in. They're fully in and now breaking the Ninja's bank. They're going to be completely money ducked if they lose it all. Yeah, I think Hampus is hanging around here. Maybe not the educated decision. Picking up the AWP. Plopsy's grabbed one as well so they can retain two orbs into the next round of play if they want. Much better than what their buy would have been looking like otherwise. But that was great again. You could see the setup. The molly I, it was the real undoer because Device is unable to contribute at that point. Rez is marooned. He's left on an absolute island there, right? Device has to respect the molly. He can't stick around. If he fights, maybe that even draws their attention to Rez, who gets found out regardless. So a good one there from Flames. And now OG are finding some traction, right? It looked like they were getting blanked here. Now they're up to five. It's just been determined by those opening kills, though. Like, that catch from Flames, he's done it twice now, two opening kills, but... Whether they can count on that coming going forward, NIP have got the double orbs in play again. That was very successful, but that's what I wanted to see. How much was he working with initially? I think it was just enough to force Rez off of his lip, and the rest, well, it's history. You can see how quickly they fell into place. Good to see Mantu's name in the feed, albeit a bit of a constellation frag on two device. That orb has been saved, and he gets to whip it out again. They're going for a full buy here, NIP, right? So they're scrounging together their money here for round number 14. The next round of play, they're only going to be looking at 2,400. So this one is kind of do or die for them. If they want to get 10 rounds, they definitely need this one here and the double orbs are a great way to do so mantu quick he's not deterred he gets an opener right there and they continue to fall for mantu now he's activating Woo! doesn't get better than that the double straight out of your scope you can hit pause for as long as you want now presuming it's less than one minute 30. oh hampus has been spotted for the second orb now and he's oh. been taken out volder nice stuff and that's it call this round done they just need to filter into this site get this bomb down you don't even need to chase for the kills, just deny the AWP recovery. And that's as good as it gets right now. Another 8, 7, half looking likely here in this series. Yeah, they felt very similar in that respect, haven't they? You know, strong starts out of one, late T resurgence out of another. Previously, this was NIP's T side that really got the ball rolling over on overpass in the later stages of the first. I wonder if they're going to be allowed to hold on to these goodies here. You can see it's starting to siphon through the B apartments now. Everybody from OG getting their marching orders. It's going to be quite the run for Flames, Mantu, Nico. They're the closest right now to go find these rifles. It feels a bit half-hearted, doesn't it? Just, yeah. you know, Flames have a look. Yeah, if you find them, that's cool. If not, it's all good. Plopsy will retain this AWP, so we're about to see if it does come back and bite them. But the buy that you just saw there, it's going to be similar, right? It's going to be another similar buy because the two and a half loss bonus coming on in. 
2.4, should I say. But this was it, Mantu. Only his fourth kill off this second shot just here, but great. That secures them around, right? It puts them in a great position financially here for the final round of play. Their buy is going to be looking a whole lot better than three Deagles, a Famous, and an AWP. Sure, there's bucket loads of utility. Sure, the armor's in play and the kits are there, but OG have everything they need here to get this one up to seven. And back towards this mid play. Man two out, Flames, Alexi, Nico. They're bringing the fight. Quick, very quick. And this time, Device best man to right out of the gate. Looking for that tight line to punish Ladder. Now I'm going to give it to him immediately and waiting for that smoke. Letting that pot shot ring out. V has been punished multiple times. This time is one of the best opportunities they'll have. It's just two digs to receive them on the site. Sure, if you're waterfalling out of the apartments, it's one thing, but they've spotted out Hampus. They know he's van side. And yeah, Rez trying to slow them down with Util there ahead of it. Devices or collect, but Flames too quick. Does not let him hide out. Rez just a deagle recovered on the AWP from Plopsky short side. That could be a good bit of help. They don't have to rush the plant though. Rez is still in this smoke. Find him, find him. Flames has got five bullets left and they haven't. Finally, he's knocked down, but that's the trade. And now Flames has to come up clutch. Oh my God, Popsky didn't take the shot. So they both know. He knows that he knows. But Did which way is he that? going? Nobody knows. Takes the steps again. He's juking him here. Flames goes back towards B. Plopsky's going to be completely out of position here. Sure, he's got a kit, he's got a smoke, he's got a molly to work with right now, but Plopsky's absolutely gone hook, line, and sinker for this bait. Flames, uh, I know a bit of pressure here. You can see him in two minds and how he wants to use this molly. Oh, just plant the bomb. He's given him a nice little early warning that the bomb's going down on B, but it is going to be coming in. It's a crucial one to finish with that 8 7 half. Make good on all of your shortcomings in the opening stages here of Mirage. He's being walked on. We'll check. Bit of a messy spray. He's worse for wear now than Plopsky, but a lovely finish. Flames makes it seven to six. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Exactly. You'll find me on Twitter. For if you your have refunds. Any refund complaints, file them over there. He pays pretty quick, I heard as well. Yeah, very quick turnaround. He's got fast fingers, that kid. Okay, well, NIP. Oh, the favorites, Is this the new yeah? variation of the info jump? I suppose it's pistol safe, at least. Device trying to scare him with some loud P250 shots from the ramp. They got to get a free window boost right now. Oh, uh, no, it's not free. free. Oh, no, that's the worst case scenario for Nico. And Hampus takes two of them. He called it out. He's saying they're behind you. They're, they're there and watching as it all falls apart. Perhaps more to fall apart here. Alexi needed them both. He could have had the bomb and a 1v2 on his plate, but NIP, <laughs> they'll take a pistol. Hampus went and killed four players before the bomb had even entered a bomb site. Yeah, and you know, like, I can fully, fully empathize for Nico. It's in the back of the head. He's all wiggly and bigly. Hampus He's... doesn't even turn around. He doesn't care. And he kills everyone. You know, you're Nico, you're just screaming at him. He's behind you, man, too. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That is massive. That is huge. What a huge round from Hampus. Yeah, straight up the window, and he's feeling himself straight into the AQ in the full belt of util. It's only USPs. I know it's early, and I know that OG definitely brought us back in a big way in that first half. But let me paint you this little picture. OG are going for the full eco. They're going to buy in the next round to play here. NIP, if they get away with a clean one, if they get away with a clean anti eco here, they get the bomb down, they retain a lot of these guns, their buy next round is going to be looking just as tidy as that as OG's, and they could win this one out. Two for device through the smoke. Rez responds. He's going to grab two quick headshots as well, and there you go. So they've only lost one gun, and they've upgraded the MAC-10 into one of those. So it's all good. It's all good for NIP right now. The thing is, OG are buying, and you see a lot of teams on the CT side. Most of the time, they're going to go for the force buy in the second, and then they're going to go for the eco in the third. You can see why you'd want to opt for that, because as far as the utility is about to go, NIP have OG covered every day of the week. OG do not even have a single Molotov. They've barely got a kit. So now they've scrapped this together, okay, right? Yeah, I see what you're saying. A lot of eggs into this basket of this type of a buying configuration. Like, do you want to have this, or would you rather be conceding one more round and having all the wibblies and bibblies? Yeah, see, they'd still be a little bit light on. The thing is, they'd have maybe a molly or two to help on out. It's just... Let's see. I mean, let's see. This is a gamble they've taken. It was a full USP just in the previous, so they wanted to swallow just the one bitter pill. But it could be a whole lot more than they bargained for. If NIP can find an opening. Don't forget, their T-side stats were bleak. Maniac brought up that stat. You can see NIP's 
T side conversion rate lower than 40%. Oh, that's too easy for Hamlet. Ooh, and there's a good way in. Mantu's fallen as well on the moonwalk. Device catching him. I know, G. Yeah, Chad, I know you said it was a bit early, but this one is looking like it's set to fall by the wayside. You'd need Valda to step up if they do come knocking on that B site. Oh my it's god, it fades as one in the open, hiding in plain sight though. Oh. Doesn't lead to his demise, he lives on. Device reveals himself, so they know there was one mid. Now Util's being dumped B. Nico trying to at least get some info, and he has. Valda controls the spray, one for one. Linus again, he knows called upon, close. he does. Now he's got Util, no smoke though, so that bomb plant's not gonna get going down anytime soon. Nade looks right, good foot on the money, and he's taken down Nico with it. What an arm. Whew, strong. Good trajectory. Austin flames the clutch, it's just too much. NIP will make 11. Very short work out of that. Great recovery between the two of them as well. <sighs> uh, the fact that Nico gets a freebie right there and Device is unable to trade, that felt a little bit odd to me, but they recover it regardless here. Now they've set themselves up for what will be 12 rounds of play, right? Uh, they're going up against what has to be a light investment again. This exchange right here, like Nico's like, okay, yeah, and then he even gets to walk away with it. So thought Nico maybe has done enough right there, but this nade was great, completely changes the tide and the conversation we're having in this. Hey, I'm talking about a smoke. Little did I know, the nade, oh, so positive. It's all he needed. And speaking of nades, that one's cost Hampus his life. Maybe even oh, the, the flash. The flash from Alexi. Oh, God, not another USP round from OG. This could change everything. That's two guns they've just picked yeah, up. Yeah, it could change everything. Chad Device might be able to punish them if he can get them on the retreat. Spotted. Did they see him? Have to have. Nia nearly, nearly takes them both down, but now another falls idle. And two remaining for the ninjas to recover. It's not the end of the world for NIP. They can buy in the next year. It might be the end of the world for OG if they put themselves in a four on two situation on an eco round, and then they lose it. Two players over towards B of Flames and Nico. They're being crept wrong. upon here. They, they're on their own, right? They're on their own because Valda and Mantu are so far away. Mantu's getting information that might spur Valda to rotate, but it's really on Flames and Nico right now. <sighs> uh, Flames gets some info. Don't you dare peek again. Just survives the nade. It's a T Molly. Might have gone a bit off. Mantu's coming through spawn. He's not going to be there quick enough, especially if NIP pushed the issue now, but they're just parking the bus. They're just waiting for the kills to come their way. This timing window might start to operate against NIP here. Yeah, Flames is so concerned about the... Oh, they think they've dropped info. back through the underpass. So Valda and Mantu now have headed back towards A in case it's an underpass play to A. But it's not. It's still B. Okay, Nico and Flames to be tested here. They're low. It's about that first bullet. Oh, and it's right into the head of Rez. That line is looking the wrong way. They collect. What a big round for OG. Facilitated by a flash. Flames with the push. Hampers caught pulling out the pin of his HE. And you said they'd have enough. It is going to be a bit of a, a weird one. They'll just about piece it together with some galils. This is what I'm talking like about. A w, look at that. Whoa. And that flash, you, you know what's coming, right? Alexi's called exactly what he's doing right there. So it's great to have somebody like Flames in your team. You just send him forward, picks you up a massive round right here. I think that was four for Flames in total in that one. He's up to 17 kills here. And yeah, NIP, they scrap this by together. The AWP for Device, it brings on out. They know it's in play, and Mantu, big kill for him. Ooh, felt like a bit of an alley-oop there. Admittedly not to the same player. But you show a little cheeky leg in window and let your author have a look up connector at the same time. That's great to find a first. Oh, they've just used two smokes towards connector here, so a little bit panic from OG. Regardless, it will hold Plopsky back. Nico ready to clamp on down with Alexi B in play, but the fade of the smoke here, <gasps> who's it going to favor? Oh, Plopsky. He's gonna have the element of surprise after all. Alexi, you better be ready for this. He might have heard him mantle. He hears that he definitely hasn't. He's looking the wrong way. Looking the wrong way. Still gets it. Alexi lives on. Shouldn't be a problem for Flames. He's got Linus to contend with. Aware of Palace presence as well. Which is now. Rez and Device now running for the hills. <sighs> they just got locked out. The util there from OG was great. How are you gonna get into this one? Sure, there's plenty of time on the clock, but what are you meant to do? you got five OG members to find on the other side of this. They have the bomb. They have everything they possibly need here, OG. And wow, the pistol round win. It's now going to really come back to buy NIP. Alexi B going around the world here to make sure that they haven't been able to scamper away anywhere. And if they want to try and push the issue and take away these guns, 
They have a little bit of residual cash to do, so you don't want to give too much into this. How punishing would losing these be, though? I mean, round 20, five seconds left. They are loudly heading towards the palace position, or at least... Or are they just signaling, we know where you are. Hello, you can have them. Yeah, that's all go. right. We'll let you off the hook this time round, huh? Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, 11 to 9. Some twists and turns left in this one in a big way here. Alexi almost getting caught off guard there, but the awareness its a big one. And at this point, as they're limping out onto A, Flames being able to get up the ladder, get away from the molly. Palace has smoked off during all this. There's no trade potential. And I think OG is starting to feel themselves now. Have another buy here from NIP. The saved guns have been bought around with, with deagles. Device is quick for this. Yeah, very quick. He's looking to disrupt. Didn't catch anything on the connector peak and it's paused. Look at the gap you're working with there, Rez. You've got some younger eyes than me. Oh, Nico, he's on his own. Completely booked, isolated. The nade could finish the job, but it's Flames' that finds him. Damn, Alexi didn't need to throw his. Flames from downtown has dropped him. Keeps Alex it level. Is Alexi going to one way around this? I think if he jumps up on the box, he might be able to something actually pushing to the opposite side of connector and through here. What a risky maneuver from Alexi oh. here. Spotted, damage done. Plopsky put very low, five HP remaining. Well, that's no fun for Plopsky. And yeah, Alexi will dump his util. That's uh, another 15 seconds bought for the mid presence. What do you think the intention is here? Like, I mean, seeing devices up, you'd think he'd want to go looking for frags, but it's not really been much given to him. Well, that's the thing, right? As an opera on the T side, sometimes you've got to manufacture your own picks here. So. Device has to get activated in this one. Has a heads up duel with Mantu in the back of the site. It's not going to be an easy fight to take. Actually going to throw Linus in. His body on the line spotted and Device oh, will effect. profit. The bait and switch. Yeah, really nice. And he's trying to make a bigger play here. They want to pincer A through the jungle position. Flames is held fast on A. He's the only man there and he's taken two of the required. Now Device with the 1v3. First shot found and bomb retrieval. Valdez holding him. Doesn't fire a bullet. Didn't catch a glimpse. They know where he is. 10 seconds, oh, and there he man. goes. Between the two of them, Valder on B, Flames on A. They hold their nerve and hold their sights. Good stuff here. Yeah, Flames, 21 kills for him. That was kind of late in overpass where Linus got activated with some impact. He's sitting at eight kills right now. Maybe he uh, can find some of that impact I'm talking about here in the final stages of Mirage. 11 to 10, the scoreline reads, but likely to be 11-11 here as the pistols are brought out for NIP. They've just got a couple of Deagles, a couple of P250s. That's the best that they're operating with right now. It's not like OG have the cash to splash here, right? They've posted three consecutive rounds now. In this CT half. They'd love to keep a clean one. They'd love to be able to keep as many members alive, hold on to all their goodies, hold on to all their guns, make sure these reinvestments are few and far between. Right now, just dispelling NIP from any easy finds, not putting your head in a pickable position. So they're starting to turtle up a little bit now. Nico and Vol, they're passive, the Danish duo on that B bomb site. Flames in tandem with Man to an Alexi B, the swing man. Flash forward, Flames. Not able to get anything done right there, but holding them at bay. Oh. oh, that's gone a bit, bit off the mark, bit off the beaten track. Uncomfortable exchange leaves the B site open for business. Founders rotated in, they catch the boost, and Nico got multiple targets he's aware of. And now just the one P250 he hears rattling off shots in that underpass. Device was last spotted on A and just catches flames. Easy collection for him. Make it 11 11. It's time to make a wish. Done? Done. Nice. Into round 23. Smoke top mid. Ampers and Rez working on some control while Plopsky device and Linus are tasked with heading over towards A. About to see if there's some pace behind this. There's a flash from Rez that's going to set Hampus up with a quick peek. Oof. Caught on a bit of the clipping on the wall there. Maybe not able to go as wide as he'd like. But now they're going to play under this window position. We've seen Hampus find a lot of success being boosted before. Gonna try it again. Vent room to trifle with here. And Nico, he's been spotted, he's been peppered. He can't really peek into this. Yeah, but he has deterred the window boost at the bare minimum. And nade on the nose. Does report some damage, a second even better. 
Shaving some off of Rez. That puts Hampus and Rez within that dink range. It's chased them away, but it hasn't kept them completely at bay here, right? They could reinitiate for another window boost. Hampus has a smoke. He could drop that and then boost into that window a little bit more safely. And waiting for reaggression. Nothing to be found. And meanwhile, during all of this, oh, almost spotted. Hampus a bit ahead of the pack here. Oh, and he could have caught a glimpse of Flames. Flames has actually been flashed through. Will he clear it? He will. And Hampus with no vision at all. OG sees him. Ugh, man, advantage. Rez is trying to work the smoke. Flames, how aware are you? He could be blocked by the barrel. Timing does not favor him. Rez looking to catch him on a timing and has. NIP pincering a Mantu. Been pretty quiet. He's going to have to do a lot here. He's called upon Valder as well for support. Rez is dealing with the B rotate. Oh, he caught the boost. Just about. Alexi paid a heavy price for that. And now the bomb's down. Mantu strikes, catches Linus. And they're running out of players fast. Everyone from OG's taken one with them. And now Device up against the entire OG squad. They're four to the line. And their health oh. doesn't matter when Valder's as precise as that. A full team ace. Everyone contributes. Valder was the only one Device really needed to deal with there, right? Because look at the HP. Mantu 31, 8 for Alexi, 25 for Nico. At that point, those fights, it don't have to be headshots for Device, right? He could have a stray bullet going left or right and still get the kill, but this is great. They really just use Flames going forward. Think about the occasions, even when Flames hasn't gotten kills, just where you've seen him be activated, right? He got them back into this with that underpass push. The two kills with the CZ. Right. He's been close A ramp, getting flashed in. Just got flashed into connector there. They just use him. Send him out not only for info, but the kill. Because this kid is worth his bloody weight in gold. 23 kills for him, leading the server right now. And NIP scratching their heads. AK back out here for Hampus. Just dry across middle. Window is smoke, sure. But lots of risks being taken here as NIP is setting up for a B finish. Nico and Valda standing ready to chime on in. Dynamic Danes here as nades are felt. Plopsky's ears are ringing, but here they go. Wow, the very naughty little smoke, and he's hiding within it. He'll take two, nearly the third. Rez limping his way through the apartments now. And Mantu has been summoned. Whether he's needed remains to be seen. It looks like Nico's done enough. And so has Alexi. Okay, 13 for OG. That third map conversation becoming all the more real. Oof. Rez has got a hand cannon, though. Oh, they get the max loss bonus, right? So NIP can buy in the next. If he can just continue to do a bit of damage here, and NIP are able to get around back and make sure this is less of a spotty T side, then there's a conversation to have this one go the distance, but we yet to see them break on through, and there's Flames again. I, I love watching Alexi there. It just felt like his awareness of making sure he's locking down any of these lurky plays from hand. Oh, wow. Okay, you're taking the AWP for the underpass peak. That is something. That is definitely something. There's no one going to receive him, and Rez is charged up mid at, in the interim. No smoke on connector, and he's got no information on the cross. Oh, oh what a catch. This time, Hampus wins his head-to-head -head with Alexi. That might change things. Now he gets to work his magic and without the watchful gaze. They're not gaze. expecting Mantu, though. There's no way. Like, Rez isn't going to look down here. You're right. And he has to piece this one together, eventually gets himself enough mouse mat to frag. Trying to peek on the one way, but pushed up his Hampus and NIP have got every frag they have desired. Nico would have to hit a couple of players, oh. and yeah, just the one. Three out of Hampus this round, that's the difference maker. Uh, so the thing is as well, with Nico being in that position, right? He, he potentially could have hidden. I don't know if he got caught, because he's a B defender. Touche. Right, they had, they had Valder. But he just jumped down in front of his face. Oh. Nico. Nico? He was in the was dark, wasn't he? That was the last yeah, man yeah. alive. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're right. He did jump in his face. But it's just like he was he was in a more open line fighting first. So mm. maybe, maybe there's a world, but regardless. That's an IP getting a big round, and it was through Hampus' opening, and there's oh. another one. Hampus, the Orpa. <laughs> oh dear. Oh my god, it wasn't far off as well. Call your jets, Hampus. He was getting a bit upset with the lack of impact he was leaving, and so. Returns with two very impactful opening kills. Oh, someone had to do it, right? So Hampus here, we always talk about this guy as one of those in-game leaders who likes to get involved with the AWP trainer in his position. Nico now timing just against him. Hampus has slinked on down through the line of sight in towards the underpass here. And with the bomb currently residing on Linus's back with Plopsky in the apartment, it is feeling very much like an A finish. Yeah, and they've got the right read. I mean, Flames has been brilliant for OG, but I wonder if that smoke's going Palace. If it doesn't, Oh, it's not. 
Okay. Wow, Flames has got so much to deal with. And he's right in between the two of them. He flashes for it. Holy moly. Straight in the flash. He's caught four hampers. Oh, Alexi not only finds the flash, but the frag. And he's found a second as well. What a great recovery. Rez caught on after the first. The AWP is activated. And now Device first found. And <laughs> they both see each other with knives out. The flash does breed some uncertainty. Nico was last spotted connector side with the AWP. They'd love a plant, you know. He's faked it. Hoping to catch Nico closing that gap, but now the bomb planted. He's bought enough time for Valder to perhaps check it. He doesn't. And he will. Okay. Device doesn't get to set himself up for success. And instead, we get two saved orbs and an OG defuse. Someone get on it, boys. Don't do a G2 on us right now, all right? You would have had 40 seconds to fumble that one. That would have been very impressive. I think at that point, Rugger's just going to be like, you know, coughing. Could you imagine? <laughs> imagine 40 seconds where you just didn't defuse the They're bomb. That around. would be mental. But Impossible. Flames again, through a smoke. Just I spearhead of this. Like, I saw him tuck it into stairs. It makes perfect sense. It's the perfect call. When you're feeling all that pressure, you've gambled. Why not flash through and get the confirmation of your apprehension? And the thing is, they could have a bit more stock in this because Nika was so aggressive in B apartments, called it clear, right? So it was either had to be middle or it had to be A. So a great little info play there after Hampus gets the opening with the AWP. Last chance saloon for NIP right now. They've spent their money. Heading over towards B and, well, Alexi straight up mid. The Hampus versus Alexi duo. There's a couple more conversation to be had about these two in-game leaders going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Yo, they're looking to pop B. Wonder how the Danish duo is going to handle this. Very deep nade there. Only a little bit of chip damage to report. They're ready for this, though. They're not looking towards short at all. Both of them are poised and ready to fight this balcony, and Nico might even be able to bait here for Volder. They can lock this out. Very much so. If he can continue to be a bit of a bait, and there's the switch, Valder. Only the one. Pampas again saving his squad with two huge frags. Alexi's gotten away with murder there. He silences Hampus, swings back in for the swing of Linus. He is playing with fire and it's worked wonderfully. Alexi disappears in plain sight, denies the plant. And now it's Rez and Device. They're smoking for him to play around here. This is huge. I love it. Now, Rez is still a threat, a very big one, and they're all there. Mantu's AWP does not miss the trick. And so, Device, familiar turf for him, a 1v3, and it does not favor him in any capacity. Looks the wrong way, and Alexi strikes. OG, one round away, and three opportunities for it. To take us to our third map, a very competitive series so far. Overpass required overtime. Well, three opportunities now for Ninjas to force the same. Oh, we're getting a really nice quarterfinal here yesterday in the round of 12, right? The fours, the fours matchup that we had yesterday against Ents, that was finished before 6 p.m., right? Right now, the time is uh, about 6.30. So this one here, just getting towards the tail end of map number two, delivering, giving us a show to watch here today. And window smoked off, the call's being made. It's just biffed through middle. Look how many bodies. Gets two of them. There was a third there. Device rattling off shots. But Nico's here to finish the job. Bit chaotic now. He is going to take one with him. And this one's fallen just short of the mark for NIP. A lovely